Paul's letter to Titus, a Greek follower of Jesus who was years trusted coworker of traveling court by Paul. He helped Paul in a number of crisis situations in the past. The letter discovered Paul assigned him the task of going to Crete, as Arlene Coles agrees to restore order in the network of house churches. Greek culture was a nurturous ancient world, and the Greek words being a liar, criticism, to be critique. These people were infamous for treachery and greed. Most of the men I had served as mercenary soldiers and the highest bidder. That the cities were known as being unsafe, pledged by violence and sexual corruption. However, the island of Crete had many strategic harbors, so it was all over the ancient Mediterranean Sea. From Paul's point of view, Crete was the perfect place to start a network of churches. We don't know the detail, but so these churches that came under the influence of corrupt, crazy leaders. They say with the Christian, but they are ruining the churches. The Paul assigned Titus with a task of going there to set things straight. So the letter provides instructions. It's a pretty straightforward design. After a brief induction, Paul gives Titus a clear instruction about the task of the church. And then offer guidance about the new kind of households. And then about new humanity the gospel could create in the Cree communities. Paul closes the letter with a final greeting. Opens the whole thing by reminding Titus that his message Apostle is about the whole eternal life. It's the life of new creation that available starting new through Jesus Messiah. This hope was promised by long ago by God who does not lie. This little opening commitment introduces an important theme underlying the old ladder. The problems of Greek churches were that they had said an idea about Jesus and the church of God, the ideas about the Greek gods that grew up. Specifically, Zeus and their chief god. Great people claim that Zeus is actually born in an island. They love the stories about religious and the unhappy character, as to these women and lie to get away. Paul wants to be real clear God's revealed through Jesus is totally different than Zeus. His basic character traits are faithful and true. What means Christian ways of life has brought truth also a real change for the creeds. Paul addresses Titus with two full tasks. The first one is to appoint new leaders for each church and community. A team was called elders. But I'm sure it was fathers who wear life is totally different from the Greek culture. Who are known for charity, total devotion to Jesus, for self control, generosity, both families and community at large. This is a leader that teach the good news about Jesus, replace the corrupt leaders who need to be confronted. That is the second task. Identify the teachers, those of the circumcision. Now, the athletic Jewish Cretans who said they would follow Jesus, but instead of the problem with the Galatians, these people demanded non Jewish Christians to be circumcised, follow the law of the Torah, if they really want to become followers of the Jews, Messiah, Zion. Paul says, obsessed with Jews and human commands. Up and off, they're just in the church leadership to business to make money. The Paul Brent move pulls out a quote from the ancient Greek poet Epitines and Frank and Honest about the character of his own people. Greeks are always liars, vicious peepees, and lazy goodens. The blue line between true and false, between good and evil, is just in front money. The leaders claim to be known God, the creed ways of life denies him. They have to be dealt with. His leader Paul did the next section because his corrupt leaders, many Christians of the churches that have homes, personal lives that totally wreck. And through the times Paul highlights the results of these this small Jesus that discredited on Christian neighbors are now good cause that make good conversations. And all this de teaching God a savior totally unattractive, not compelling to anybody. So Paul makes a picture of ideal Cretan households that is devoted to Jesus, elderly men, women who are filled with integrity and self-control. They can become models of character to young people. The young women should not be sleeping around, avoiding marriage, fostering the need create on the time. They are looking for full partners so they can raise stable health families. Young men are to do the same. They're known as productive, healthy civilians. Christian slayers are create were in a unique position. We know because of the gospel, they were treated as 
equal to Paul's church communities, the danger. These equalities of license to disrespect the masters, and because also the slave rebellion, and further discredit the Christian message, if we upon the question of the first line later. If the gospel of Jesus needs to prove its prove its repetitive power, public square, in order to transform great cultures, that going to happen through social upheaval or by Christian considered away from the unburned life. Christian message will be compelling to create when Christians fully disappear in the public life and the lives full of look fitness on the surface. After a closer look, their neighbors will discover the Christian lives are a totally different value system. All of the emotions that different to their God. And that's what the difference of Paul's beautiful summarizes in chapter 2. The value system driving the Christian life. Generosity grace appeared to the personal judges and appear again at this return. As grace demonstrated when Jesus gave up his honor, died a shameful death on the behalf of his enemies, so he could just rescue and redeem them. Grace had called, St. Grace had called us a noble to grow up ways of life and consider the generosity of love of God. Because this was the Christian also the vision, Christian living, new life, in Christian society. For all people, Christians should be known as ideas of incidents, peaceable, generous, obedient to authority, known for pursuing the good. So we deserve the Greek grew up. Creole Christians also sustain this culture, culture way of life. Paul believes the power source, transfer of love of the tree, one God, down to the gospel. Explores this really beautiful poem. Say God, kindness, love are what save us despite ourselves. And through the Holy Spirit, God washed and upbraid and renewed people through Jesus to provide way people to declare right before him. All this opens up eternal life. That's a new future in the new creation. As they restore powerful, it can reduce new kinds of people. Uh, convince the spiritual empowering faithfulness to the in teaching of Jesus that clear all over the land, greet and all of the world. All close upon us, sending back a time, see their Artemis, Eticus, say hello to the common friends. So that it ends. And Titus shows us the Paul missionary strategy. There should be called agent transmission communities. We won't have by waging culture with wars or ultimately to the create way of life. Call the Christian to wisely participate in create cultures. And the jack all crop, but also embrace what's good in there. And to live peacefully and devote itself to Jesus to common good. Christians with words show the beauty of the message of saving God. That's what the letter Titus is all about.